Here are five simple hacks in Affinity Photo to quickly make your photos look much better. The first method is applying the image to itself in soft light blend mode. This usually works quite well. We can duplicate the image and change the blend mode to soft light. It is a very simple hack to get richer colors and more contrast. Here is a bonus tip. Instead of duplicating the image layer, we can add a curves or levels adjustment on top and without making any changes on the adjustment, we can just apply the soft light blend mode. As you can see, the end result is exactly the same with as advantage that this has a smaller impact on the file size when saving the file. The second hack is to apply a fill layer in linear light blend mode. Let's add the fill layer. We now need a good color for the fill layer. Let me disable the fill layer for now and add a Voronoi filter. This is a very quick way to get some colors from the image. Let's select a color now with the color picker. We don't need the Voronoi filter anymore, so let's disable that. Select the fill layer and apply the color. Also, let's make sure the fill layer is enabled and set the blend mode to linear light. The effect will be way too much and we need to pull down the fill opacity. We can either use the blend options or in this case I can switch to the effects panel and lower the fill opacity to something between 10 and 20%. That looks much better and we have hacked the image to contain a bit more color and contrast. For the next two hacks we are going to use the gradient map adjustment. So let's start by adding the gradient map adjustment to our document. By default we get this red, green, blue gradient. For this hack we need a black, grey, white gradient. So I will quickly change the color points. Once we have the black and white gradient we can now change the blend mode to luminosity. By moving the midpoint we can control the lightness in the image and usually moving this to around 70% will get you amazing results. For the next hack we are also going to use a gradient map. Instead of adding a new gradient map adjustment I'll just duplicate the current one and disable the original for now. In the gradient map I'll change the ending point to black and change the mid color to a gray value with a luminance around 30%. If we now change the blend mode to subtract we get this very nice contrast and deep colors. This especially works well with light images. For example this image. By applying this hack we get very beautiful blues and details in the image. And how about this one? I think just by applying this adjustment the image got much more interesting. Pretty awesome. For the last hack we are going to use a curves adjustment. A very common way to boost up contrast is applying an S curve. However for this hack I'm going to apply a sinus like curve and change the blend mode to reflect. The effect will definitely be too strong. The reflect blend mode is a blend mode which affects the shadows and the highlights very strongly. So when we go to the blend options and modify the underlaying curve so that it mainly affects the midtones, we get a much better end result. Finally, Adjust the fill opacity to your liking depending on the image. In this case a value of 40% just gives that extra boost in color and contrast. Remember that you can combine these adjustments. For example in this image I have used the two gradient maps and then the curves adjustment hack I showed earlier. As the image got a bit too dark I added a brightness and contrast adjustment on top and we got this very nice effect with much warmer colors. Thanks again for tuning in. Hit the like and subscribe button if you like this video. Until the next video.